Hi everybody and welcome back. Welcome back to my internet YouTube channel today. <laughs> what the heck is that intro? <laughs> what? Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel today. We are checking out flesh plus blood. When I was searching up this movie, I searched up flesh and blood. Apparently that is a TV show on Amazon Prime. Confused me for a bit. Even when I searched up flesh plus blood on Google, some of the search results came up as flesh and blood, the Amazon show. So it took me like a few minutes to figure out that this movie was flesh plus blood. I finally found it on YouTube movies and here we are today going to watch it. Um, I don't know anything about this movie. Never heard of it before until I think my Robocop re reaction when people started suggesting more Paul Verhoeven, Ver Verhoeven, Ver Verhoeven, Verhoeven, I think that's how you say it. I think that's how you say it, Verhoeven, right? Like Hoover Dam, Verhoeven. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. It sounds like, it sounds wrong. I'm on a first, ma first name basis with him anyways. Paul, it is. It's one of Paul's... <laughs> Paul sounds so weird. It's one of Paul's movies. Very excited. I've loved the three movies of his that I've watched. Total Recall, Robocop, and that other one that I just cannot remember off the top of my head. You know, Starship Troopers, that's it. Starship Troopers is my favorite. How did I forget about that? Anyways, I really liked his movies. I think the scores for his movies were fantastic. The shots were fantastic. It was They were all very creative, very, like, movies that I hadn't really seen before with, like, the advertisements within the movies, stuff like that, and they were structured differently than a lot of Hollywood movies have been structured before. I heard that he was Dutch, I think. I don't know if this is one of his Dutch movies. It could be. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about this movie again. Uh, I only, All I can see is the poster and there's a man with a sword and it's a pretty cool looking sword but is there's a man with a sword. The title is in English which makes me think it is an English movie and there won't be subtitles? Question mark, question mark. But yeah, I'm just very excited to dive into this movie. But before we dive into this movie, we got to do the lighting. So let's turn on the lights. Boop. Nice, nice. Okay, so today... Okay, so... The lighting is interesting because I heard that this is a vampire movie. Uh, someone told me it was a vampire movie. Maybe. If I... Maybe I'm just mishearing that. I don't know if it's a vampire movie or not. I'm assuming it's a vampire movie because it's called Flesh and Blood or Flesh Plus Blood. Um, but I don't want to do red because Lost Boys was red or The Lost Boys was red and I don't want it to like interfere with The Lost Boys. So I don't know what color to do for Flesh Plus Blood. Maybe I'll do pink because pink is pretty close to red and it's a color we don't really use much on this channel. So I think pink is the way to go today. I'm hoping there's something pink in this movie that that I can say, oh yeah, I did pink because of this pink thing in the movie. I don't know, maybe there's something pink, maybe there isn't something pink. Anyways, I need to start this movie soon because it's getting kind of late at night and it's two hours and two minutes long. That's pretty long. But before we get into the movie, <laughs> what a segue, Oliver. Uh, if you'd like to watch more of my movies, you can check out my Patreon where I have uncut reactions to many of the movies on YouTube as well as early access reactions that come out one week ahead of the YouTube movies and TV shows. There is also two movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. Thank you so much if you check it out and let's get back to the video. Yeah, I don't have much else to say for this reaction or for this review of the start before the movie starts, I guess. I'm just very excited to see what Paul has in store. <laughs> I'm sorry I call him. You know what? I'm not sorry. He, ha Me and him are best friends and you can DM him on Instagram or something, ask him we're best friends. He knows me. He's like, oh yeah, that Oliver guy, the best guy in the... <laughs> okay, I'm... I'm not even talking about the movie anymore. I hope you enjoy my reaction to Flesh Plus Blood. Oh, Ryan. Okay, I said this in my Yellow Beard reaction, so if you didn't watch that, then I'll just repeat it again. Orion, I feel like, is in like every old movie or every really fun old movie that I've seen, but I have not seen it in any recent movies, I feel like. Maybe it, it is in recent movies, but I've never seen it. My hopes for this movie is that it's very creative and the score is fantastic. Oh my god, the music is by Basil. Baz, that's, is that how you say, say his name? Basil? Basil? I love that man so much and I just recently discovered him. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Prepare to receive the body of our Lord. Kneel. 
Prepare to receive the body of our Lord. What does that mean? It's the attack because that was my city. They threw me out. Oh, okay. I'm trying to take back his city. That lady is crazy, what the heck? Oh, here's the man with the sword. I'll think about it. He looks so cool and his sword looks so cool. He's so cool. All you have to do is roll it up to the gates and boom. But why can't you just carry it up to the gates? Wouldn't that be the exact same thing? Oh my god, he's still there though. He's still there though. Run, man! Why did you light it so early? What the heck? Why didn't you wait for him to be safe? No! So did he like slice her head open or something? You know, after a battle though, whoever wins and gets the city, they have a lot of cleanup to do. It's almost worth just losing so you don't have to do that cleanup. She's like the exorcist. By mistake, sir. My promise to your soldiers was also a mistake. Oh! <laughs> what? Well, soon I will have no more city. That's what I was saying about the cleanup. Everything gets so damaged. Sure. You're caught, sir. <laughs> okay, just dump the body out of the wheelbarrow. Martin and me were friends, and I love you. You horny old goat. <laughs> Get out of my way! The man really wants to be the father. That was smooth. That was very smooth. Wait. If they imagine, if they fire on them. Oh my god, this is like the ultimate betrayal. Look at that wavy sword, what the heck? I feel like that wouldn't do anything. Maybe this isn't a vampire movie. Maybe I was super wrong. Maybe flesh plus blood is like, like a blood relative, like who's, you know, you know that, you know what I mean? Who does he look like? He looks like a dead baby. Oh my God, the guy really does love her. <laughs> That's pretty funny, the guy who wants to be the dad. No, it is dead. It is dead. He's the only saint with a sword. <laughs> he used it to cut his clothes. If I took a shot every time they said saint, I would be dead. Don't just drop the baby. From God. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. That guy is me right now. Into the uh. What? He just killed one of his own people. We'll grab him by the balls and squeeze out every penny they've got. Oh no. Good morning, my son. Oh, morning, father. Why did rich people clothing always look so goofy back then? Actually, come to think of it, rich people clothing nowadays looks kind of goofy as well, you know? I just saw uh, an Instagram ad for uh, like a Louis Vuitton bag, but it's $39,000. That's more than like some small airplanes. That's insane for a bag. Oh, it's the girl. Feel how my heart is beating all because of you. Your heart's on the other side though. Your heart is on the other side of your chest. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of wine. What a waste of wine. I insist you feel like it right now. You're my maid. You'll do as I say. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. What the heck? I love that the maid just has like, her dress is just not on basically. Unfortunately for you lady, she, he has not been counting the hours. At least talk to her, dude. At least say hello and get to know her first before you just ride away off into the sunset. Things. And I don't need any woman for that. Ah, oh, she could so help you with that. Where are you going? Riding! And I don't need any man for that! Oh! You know what? I like her now. I like her now a lot. I like Agnes. Oh, what a shot. And the music is really good. And the shot is really good. Oh! Are those one of the people they said they were going to hang at the start of the movie? If a man and a woman eat of it, they will love each other forever. Can you please, like, move away from the bodies, please? And his semen spills to the ground. Mm -hmm. That's where your mandrake sprouts. Is that actually true? Is that a true fact? Mandrake. No, you're not supposed to do that with a mandrake. In Pan's Labyrinth, you don't do that with a mandrake. I'm tingling all over my body. Here, feel. Oh my god, the heart. The heart thing. Oh my god, so good. This is such a good scene. She's really good. She's such a good character. I love her. She always looks a little angry though for some reason. You know? On a pilgrimage. May we give arms? No, what if they just like slaughter you? Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, I was right. I'm a genius. There's something suspicious about them. Yeah! Make some money and kill people. That's the way to do it. What? What? The king was stabbed? Agnes! Oh my god. So maybe this movie is going to be about him getting Agnes back. Who knows? Maybe the guy with the sword's the villain. Oh. That would be a twist. It's Arnold Feeney, my former patron. She's okay. That's good. I'm glad she survived. And this is his little country home. Oh, that's so cute. You're as tough as I am. Don't you think that this guy, that the the prince, son of the king guy, looks like a young Christian Bale? Like a little bit at least? I think he does. I think he does. In the right man. That's right. He'll always be. They have such a strange relationship. What the heck? Look at this little angel! <laughs> I'm really nervous right now. I'm really nervous right now. You gotta stop this, Martin. Start it! Or start, not start it. Stop it! Kill him! Kill him! Yes! Kill him! What is happening right now? What am I watching right now? I don't like this scene at all. It's making me very uncomfortable. It's a sign, Colonel, is it not? Yes, it points to the future. It points to the future? What do you mean? The priest guy, reverend guy, whatever he is? It's insanely creepy. I don't know, I don't like him. I didn't expect that in this movie, to be honest. Very uncomfortable scene. Did not know how to react. Did not know how to, or what to say. Open your mouth, child. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone in this movie is despicable in some way, I feel like. Never fear, there'll be a sign. Anything can be a sign. You could say like, well, look at that bird flying. It's a sign. 
The statue moved again. Yeah, it moved because you stopped and then it swung out. It's not a sign. His girlfriend's gonna be jealous. She must be jealous, right? I thought that was a chimney. They're like Santa Claus if that is a chimney. Oh, it is a chimney. They are Santa Claus. Like Santa Claus. Run, run, run. I mean, every castle is not the same though, right? So like, she might know like basic layouts, but I feel like she wouldn't be incredibly helpful for a castle, right? Sure you won't. What? What? Was it because they thought they were gonna harm, so they thought death was better than that? <gasps> you just killed yourself and left the kid alive? Were you trying to kill the kid? Because you did a bad job if you did. Stop it, you're making me horny! No! This is like the horniest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, they have a connection. I still don't like him though. Why, why is she doing that she really like him? Also her legs, the table looks a lot longer than her legs. Like her legs look, are, look so much shorter than the length of that table. Like did her legs just extend? Matt. Congratulations. Even that was like very oddly sexual. It's such a weird movie. All right. I think this movie is also going to be like 90% blurry screen when it goes out onto YouTube. Sorry about that. There's just a lot of nudity. How old is she supposed to be in this movie? That is a good question to ask. How old is she supposed to be? She ate the mandrake with the prince, right? So they can't... She has to be with him, right? <laughs> I think, I think she's going to kill him. I don't know, maybe she does like him. It seems like she does. Okay, so she did not kill him. I thought maybe she would as like a revenge in like the bath, but I was wrong. Get Father George. The poor child. She better be saved. She better be saved and live in the little cottage in the country with him. Dead. No! I can't believe she's dead. Are you serious? Yes, I'm not allowed to be frivolous. Ew, what is that? The plague. Oh. Isn't that really contagious though? So, would everyone in the castle have it potentially? Is that going back to the noose at the start that was on fire, where it said bad things are going to happen? <laughs> this is such an odd movie. I'm, I keep saying it. It's such an odd movie. I love horses. I love horse riding scenes. Especially when the horses are in packs or groups or whatever they're called. One pot can dismantle an entire army. <laughs> Do you think that Agnes is in the, what's that state of mind where you fall in love with your captor? 
Yeah. Okay. So she does love him. That's good. That's good. I'm happy. I think she is just playing so she can stay alive, right? She's smart. But I'm actually so confused what happened to this guy. Like, did the pot... Oh, he has the plague. So confused. I thought the pot it killed him. <laughs> Old fashioned fool. Why would bleeding work? I f that wouldn't work. The sound of the wood chopping and stuff sounds like popcorn popping in a microwave. <laughs> What if they're making like a Trojan horse, but it's going to be like a Trojan barrel? I don't know. She's so hopeful. You can escape, right? Oh no, wait, no, this bar is on the window. Never mind. Then you must love it. What about me? The camera work is pretty good for this scene right now too. Like this shot. I need you. Here. What? So if he wins, she dies. That's what I'm hearing right now. That looks so painful. Black Death sounds like the most painful thing ever. It is a Trojan barrel tank. It's a tank. What if it's a tank? I bet they can't even hear the kid. The kid's like playing it, but he's so far away, it doesn't sound like anything. <laughs> that's, sounded, that's pretty funny. I cracked myself up. I wonder why it's fireproof. Did they put like an oil on it or something? Well, oil would make it burn faster, I guess, but did they put something on it? This reminds me of the bomb. But maybe it's going to be like just how the thing drives. Yeah, it's a ramp. It's literally a fire truck. He made a fire truck. That's so cool. I love this. I love this so much. Go, 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 go. Get up, get up, get up, get up. What an awesome shot with uh, the halo of fire around him. He looks like the uh, saint, doesn't he? Martin! God damn you forever! He just killed the dog. He just... He killed the dog. I will never forgive him. I like no characters in this movie. <laughs> That's a lie. I like some of the characters. I think he's still alive, the prince. I think he's still alive. Just wait and see. I'll call it right now. Calling it. Five dollars. It's a sign. Who ruined my plate? It's in the train. Yeah. Who ruined my plate? Exactly. That's so rude. You should have waited till after the play at least. Oh, I called it. You owe me five dollars. <laughs> I'm so nervous right now again, and uncomfortable. Ah, 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 ow, 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 ow. It's literally like Starship Troopers with the knife in the hand. Ow. Oh my god. Oh, that's so gross. What is this dude? Are you trying to provoke them to come out of the castle? Or are you just like, dog meat, dog meat for everyone? That dog was in my camp. So. <gasps> oh, yeah, it has the plague. Yes, yes, it's a sign direct from heaven. Dear. Cardinal, you don't know what you're talking about, dude. Fine. Me dying like a rat will be a sign. Yeah. Shut up. That's me. He's literally me. So everyone's gonna be naked. Okay. Yeah, this movie's gonna be all blurred on YouTube. Like, literally all blurred. <laughs> Just a hundred naked people in this movie. That's it. Why isn't he naked? 
Did he? Did, did the actor just not want to be naked or something? That's a smart play. Imagine if he missed the water though. His plan would have been over. He's he would he would have been done for. Oh no, she didn't tell them. I'm glad she didn't, to be honest. Oh, what a good shot. Anyone seen Contagion? That shot kind of reminded me of something from Contagion where it's like following the disease throughout, through like hit, like the human stuff, the human elements of it. It'd be funny if the dog didn't actually have the plague and it was just like sick or something. No, not the kid! No! No, no! Agnes! Oh, yes, he deserves it. The cardinal is just on anyone's side. Whoever side is the the powerful side. Take both, you silly bitch. Yes. Come on. Give me your hand. No, he's sick. With your whores and punishments. <laughs> I love the soundtrack right now. It's just like the thunder, the atmosphere of the scene. It's really good for the, like the dramatic effect. Oh. There's some imagery in this movie that I feel like I need to watch again or look up to understand. There's a lot of like crosses and saints and stuff like that imagery, you know? No! This is kind of like reminds me of the end of Avengers Infinity War with just like the rolling thunder over people dying. <laughs> Spoilers for Infinity War if you haven't seen it, sorry. The key. You better give it to him. I'm really nervous. <gasps> you didn't expect to see me again, did you? I hate him. I hate Martin. He totally has a- oh no, but... Okay, he literally has well water on his hands probably, and you just kissed it, which means you now have the plague. Oh my god. Man just gained superpowers. He made a rocket launcher. He made a rocket launcher. No. It's actually kind of sad to see their gang go and die. I really like them. Well, most of them. Maybe not really like them. I like them. Dies next to his friend. I love that he has a, like a pitchfork almost, something that the devil would have, right? Oh, Cardinal's gonna burn, the Cardinal's gonna burn. Oh my God, he's gonna die from the saint. The saint's gonna kill him. That was a good death. That was a satisfying death. Oh my god. Why would you want to go in the water if he's choking you? Are you dumb? That wouldn't be choking him though because it's like coming off of there, isn't it? So that would just be hitting the back of his neck.
Okay, the beam just ruined the dramatic scene. They were having a moment. I'll cut the swellings. He's doing the thing that the uh, the captain did, right? When he had the plague. What a good shot. I'm so happy she's safe. I was so nervous the entire time. Okay, they could totally see you, my guy. Oh, what a good shot. What a beautiful shot. Smoke, the burning castle. He's the last one. I can't believe he's the only one that lived. Well, the, I guess the kid and the, the mom are still alive too at this moment. The score is so good. Oh, stretching. Oh, that was a pretty good movie. Some uncomfortable scenes for me, which I'll talk about in my review. The score was great. Some of the shots were amazing. The characters, I really liked the characters, even though I hated most of the characters, to be honest with you. I thought Agnes was the best character by far. I think this is a good movie overall. But I can understand why this movie didn't do very well at the box office. It's not really a box office sort of movie, is it? And that was my reaction to Flesh Plus Blood, the 1985 adventure action adventure movie by my best buddy Paul and I would have like I would just like to say <laughs> why was I not warned that there were so many naked people in this movie like oh my gosh my YouTube I'm sorry sorry if you're watching this on YouTube it's probably like 90% blurred and there's nothing I can do about it because it's just full of naked people yeah <laughs> and also I, I wish I had gotten a warning going into this movie just how kind of everything this movie is I don't know how to ex how to explain it really it's just like this movie was like amazing but it was also disturbing it was also kind of unsettling and creepy and gross but there were also rewarding moments there were like really funny little stabs at religion I don't know there was a lot about this movie that I liked and a lot about of this movie I not necessarily dis well no I did not dislike a lot of stuff about this movie let let me make that clear but like the characters for example I don't think I liked besides Agnes and Steven I did not like a single character and Martin was the main character I'm pretty sure of the movie and I did not like him at all so this movie is a really interesting movie I guess I'll have to dive into I guess I have to dive into it uh where do I start where do I start with this movie, to be honest with you? Let's start with the unsettling parts of it so I can just get that out of the way. I was not expecting this movie. I guess I should have expected this movie to go that far because it's a Paul movie, right? A Paul Verhoeven movie. I'm gonna call him Verhoeven, right? Verhoeven? Uh, sorry, I'm sorry if I'm still pronouncing his name wrong. I know it's been four movies now. I heard someone in the comments said it was like Verhoeven, like Hoover Dam, right? So I'm going to say Paul Verhoeven. I, I'm just going to call him Paul, actually. It's just Paul because he's my friend. You know, you don't call your friends by their last names, right? Unless they're not actually your friends. <laughs> but yeah, this movie went like from zero to a hundred incredibly quickly. When Agnes goes to Martin's camp and gets found out that she's hiding there, I didn't, I was really nervous that something bad was going to happen, but I didn't really expect it to happen. I don't know, just because it's a movie or something. But Paul really just, he does like these things with his movies. And this stuff definitely happened at the time, like during the time period when, when this movie is set, right? So like, I don't know, it just was like a very uncomfortable experience though to watch. But I think that's the point of it. I don't think it's just there because he's like, oh, I love it. You know, I love, I love it when people get raped and stuff like that. I know, I don't think that is what, why it is there. I think it is there for kind of to show like a reality, like a visceral reality of what actually happened and happened still to people, right? And I, it just, it was so real and it lasted so long, multiple times throughout the movie that I don't know it was just very uncomfortable and it made me kind of not want to watch the movie during those moments even though like I was glued into my seat the entire time and I was I would never have turned off the movie it still made me kind of go like oh I don't know this is just really uncomfortable and gross and disturbing and I don't like it 
but I think it really added to the plot and it really, I don't know, it made the stakes a lot higher because all of these really horrible things are happening and you're like, oh, I don't want that to happen again. But there's still that thing in your mind that's like, that could happen again. So I think for me, at least, it made the plot, it didn't just show like this very realistic take on not just medieval times really in Europe and stuff, but like kind of right now as well, like this still happens. But it also service the plot as to make the tension stronger because of it you know the tension between martin and agnes especially and and the other members of the group but mostly martin and agnes the tension between them was really good and that is another amazing thing that the movie did so well was the tension I, most of the time the movie had me like i was I didn't talk for like a lot of the second portion of the movie because I was just so nervous of Martin. Martin scared me to death and I hated him. I, I thought he was so cool. Like I thought he was a really cool character. And then as soon as he sees Agnes for the first time, his character like falls off of a cliff into like bad, bad person land. And I was no he was I did not like him and I was really confused at first because I was like I thought he was the main character like is he gonna have like this redemption but then in my mind I was like I can't redeem him for the things that he's already done like just because he's done a good thing doesn't mean he hasn't done all these other bad things that I have already seen you know so it was a very interesting thing to do especially with what I believe is was the main character was to make him this irredeemable villain at least or at least this irredeemable person maybe not a villain but person with a lot a lot of flaws and issues and bad personality and stuff like that you know so i don't know it was a very interesting thing to do and it was actually a very interesting thing to have all the cast be unlikable uh i think even agnes could be unlikable i did not like agnes when i first saw her i'm pretty sure i called her a brat because she was being really mean to her maid um that soon changed though once i when she started talking and stuff i was like oh okay i actually kind of like her she's smart um but yeah this is, I got way off track. The tension between Martin and Agnes was phenomenal. I always assumed that something horrible was going to happen to Agnes, even if it didn't, and it scared me. And then, like for the for example, the scene where Martin and Agnes are in the bath together after they take the castle, I was I thought Agnes might do something there. So there was some really good tension between those two characters. But my favorite part of the movie with the tension was when the plague was in the water from the well and people were drinking it and Agnes was trying to choose whether to say something or not. Oh my gosh, that scene had me on the edge of my seat. My hands were like sweating and stuff because I did not want her to say anything. I can't believe she said something about it to Martin. I was so upset and not to the kid. Like, come on, you're gonna kill the kid and not Martin after he's done all this bad stuff to you. I don't know, it was just that, that scene was so so good another great thing about this movie was the score the score was amazing again basil i think that's his name right basil oh my gosh what a good direct or not director what a good composer he has such a good way with the music and the soundtrack in this movie was really awesome as well not just the stuff that he composed like like the whole final well not the whole final sequence but a lot of the final sequence was just like atmosphere with like the lightning thunder sounds in the background and that i don't know that really added it made me kind of feel like i was actually there it reminded me of the end of infinity war when everyone dies as everyone was dying from the plague it just made for a way really cool dramatic i was gonna say way cool <laughs> a really cool dramatic effect that i didn't expect from this movie and i really appreciated but yeah when the score kicks in it really kicked in it was so good uh, I loved every second of his score. Uh, I, I, it's hard to find his music for some reason. I, I can only find it on YouTube, and I wish it was on like Apple Music or something so I could listen to it all the time. But unfortunately, it is not. At least I've checked a bunch of times for all the other movies that I've watched. So it's sad. It's sad. I really like his music. Uh, Paul, I guess I should talk about the directing. Paul did an amazing job with the directing. Some of the camera shots were really good, especially with like the blocking. Some of the blocking with the characters and stuff was really well done, really smart and intricate even in such like even in like simple simple shots um some of the shots i'm thinking of is like when agnes and martin are just talking or something there'll be like this 20 second uh 30 second uncut take but it doesn't really feel like it and the camera literally only moves like simply to one side maybe zooms in a little bit pans out a little bit 
but like the blocking everyone's like moving coming in and out of focus to two of them and i don't know it was just like really cool to watch another thing that i just like about his directing is just kind of how i, th I talked about this at the very start but how visceral his stuff is this one definitely had less gore I feel like like blood and guts and gore than the other three movies that I've watched of his. But what it didn't, what it lacked in gore, it made up for it. Everything else, like the love scene, the romantic love scene underneath two hanging, de decaying dead bodies, that was just like it's just like no one else is would think of that except for Paul. Like what a weird, amazing mind that he has. Like why would he think of that? It, I don't know why, but it didn't even feel forced that the dead bodies were there. It just kind of felt natural in the world and natural to Agnes's character to go there to f get the the whatever it was called weed out of the ground. It was just like, what the heck? Why would you think of that? But then also it's like, how did he think of that? Like, what? what? I don't know. He's just kind of, he's just a very creative person, I feel like, and a very, he tries to make every, all of his movies like, even if they aren't very real topics, like Total Recall, for example, I feel like it's not a very realistic topic. He still tries to make them pretty grounded and pretty real in the real world. World And Flesh... Flesh... Okay, Google says it's called Flesh and Blood, but I'm going to call it Flesh plus Blood. Flesh plus Blood is definitely a very... Like, the most realistic version of movie that he's had. And it he really made it like that. He really made it as if he just had a camera and he went back in time to like whenever this happened in like the 1200 AD or something like that. It was just, it was really interesting to see. Another thing that I really liked that he added in was the pokes to religion, which I thought was really clever. There was a lot of imagery of like crosses on the ground and the, uh, the saint came up a bunch. And then there's that one guy who was always saying like, no, you're full of baloney. You're, you're a fake cardinal. Like you, everything's a sign. Like if I died, I'd be a sign, you know? And like, I was agreeing with that guy. I was like, that guy is just me in my chair talking to the cardinal as he speaks gibberish. Um, I thought that was just a really funny little addition to the scene. Uh, and I really liked that Martin or sorry that Martin. Yeah. Martin was a big, like god believer and steven was a big science believer it was like a clash of the two right the two titans uh so sort of i don't know i thought that was very interesting yes but let's move on to the cast now because there's a lot of talk about the cast there's a lot of cast so i probably will only talk about martin agnes and steven in great detail um and then the other guys i might i might talk about or i might not depending on how much time i have but we're going to start with martin Rut rutger Hoyer. Hoyer. I'm sorry, I'm going to mispronounce all of these names. I'm so sorry. Maybe, well, maybe just his name, but Rutger Hoy Hoyer. I feel like that's how you pronounce his name. If it's not, I'm sorry. Let me know down in the comments below how to actually pronounce his name. He, he played Martin, and Martin in the first, I don't know, 10 minutes of the movie, I was like, this guy is a cool main character. He's so cool. His sword's so cool. I don't know what else to say. He's just a cool guy. And then as soon as he sees Agnes, I hated him. And then there were points in the movie where I was like, Are, is the movie trying to redeem him right now? But it wasn't. But in my mind, I was like, is it trying to redeem him right now? And I'm glad that the movie didn't try to redeem him. Uh, and even if it did, I probably wouldn't have gone for it just because he had done all of these horrible things before. Yeah, but his character was still very interesting to me because he was so horrible and he was so unlikable and he was the main character of the movie and i think it was an interesting choice to have him as the main character of the movie um you could some people could say steven's the main character of the movie but martin was in the movie the most for me at least uh so for me martin was the main character and he was just like i think Rut rutger rutger did a really good job as him making him really unlikable like all of his like actions and his just like just his acting in general was really good and i don't know what else much to say he was just like a very despicable character who kind of manipulated people he even manipulated the cardinal a bunch you know with like the signs and stuff so that was kind of cool how he was actually secretly the leader even though the cardinal is supposed to be the leader right um it was just uh it was just interesting jennifer jason lay lay i want to say lay right as agnes she was my favorite character by far she was such a good character i didn't think i was gonna like her at the start 
and then she grew on me really fast and when she kissed steven i was like yes or yeah she kisses steven under the hanging dead people and i was like yes they kissed i was super excited um and i felt like so like it was so horrible to watch her in that camp and it was so disturbing to watch that and especially because i liked her character and then the whole movie i was nervous that that was going to happen again um and then there were there was a point in the movie where i thought that she actually liked martin because there's there's that thing that happens when you're with a captor or something like that you you start to fall in love with them um i don't know what it's called i don't remember what it's called and i think that's what happens like you start to fall in love with your captor i think so i thought that's what she was having right but then it dawned on me as the movie kept going and the movie eventually explains it as well that she is just pretending to like martin so that nothing bad happens to her like at the camp earlier in the movie right so that she's pretending to be one of those groups uh one of those group of people to survive basically and that like added so much to her character like she was already very smart we could see that when she was looking when she was digging up the root and when she was riding the horse and stuff and it just like it really dug the nail in the coffin where it was like yes she is a super smart character she's very she's very skillful with her mind i guess she knows how to get out of situations and she was just playing the long game and i really liked that um obviously i hated that she had to do all of that stuff to to stay in to stay alive basically um but i'm glad that she didn't fall in love with martin i'm glad that she was always in love with steven even though i was at sometimes i was so at some points of the movie i was like oh does she actually love steven and i was really hoping that she did and she did so i was very happy um i think jennifer jason lay did a fantastic job um and it also must have been really hard to do all those nude scenes uh i'm I n i've never done a nude scene obviously but like i don't think i'd ever want to it make me very uncomfortable to be on set and she at like half of her scenes she was naked so I, I it was just like like props to her for like having the guts to do that you know i would i would never be able to do that so like props to her um the last person i'm going to talk about in depth was is steven tom burl berlinson i liked his character i thought out of the three characters that i just mentioned he was the most boring of the characters uh even though martin was despicable i still liked seeing him on screen more than steven just because he always there was always more stuff happening when he was on screen until steven goes to the castle of course and then all the characters are combined yeah but steven i thought he was an oh like he was a good character uh he was the science to martin's religion uh i'm really like i really liked how much he loved agnes even though they'd only met for like 30 minutes it was kind of funny how he had so much faith in his science and himself that he wasn't going to love her and then after 30 minutes he goes like across the country to save her from these guys i think that was just that was just a little funny to me um but yeah he was really smart just like agnes he was very smart he was very good with his brain and i liked his kind of growth into becoming a fighter as well which was really cool to see and to get out of the chains of the lightning that was just a really cool scene for him as well that was i don't know i i liked him i just think he was the most boring because he didn't like there wasn't that tension between him and like another character that agnes and martin had and that tension really like elevated those scenes for me with them in it um and he didn't have that with those characters that's kind of all the characters i want to talk about everyone else in the cast was amazing everyone in like martin's goonie squad like the cardinal and uh, all those other people they did a fantastic job i hated every single one of them except for the kid um but i also liked them at the same time it was a very weird like i hated them for what they did but they still entertained me while they were on screen i don't know how to explain it but yeah i thought they did a fantastic job with their with their characters and uh same with everyone who was on steven's side of the war you know i really liked them as well i really liked the captain he did a really good job that actor um yeah i thought everyone did great the only thing that i didn't that i just did not like about the movie or well, maybe not like that i had an issue with in the movie was the third act felt a little long for me once like the first and second act maybe yeah the first i don't know hour and i don't know 10 minutes 15 minutes of the movie however long it was felt like it went by really fast like incredibly fast but as soon as 
Martin gets to the castle that they stay in for the rest of the movie, the movie kind of felt like it slowed down for a long time. And then it picked up again once um, Martin had the dog collar on and stuff like that. The movie started to pick up again. But between them getting to the castle and Martin being found in the tree, or not Martin being found, Stephen being found in the tree with it and then getting the dog collar on, sorry about that. It felt like it really slowed down and the pacing kind of stopped. And there was still a really like a lot of interesting things happening in the movie. It just felt a lot slower to me for some reason. And I think some of that stuff could have been cut out or trim down or something like that to make the pacing of flow a little bit better. But besides that, I really liked this movie, even though it was so uncomfortable for me to watch for a lot of it. Um, yeah, I wish I had had a warning. <laughs> thank you so much. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my reaction to Flesh Plus Blood. And thank you so much to these people right here. It means a lot for you to be supporting my channel. And yeah, just thank you so, so much. Um, also, thank you so much for watching my review. If you've made it this far, listen to my review. Uh, it means a lot just to listen to me bumble and mumble and jumble all my words up. Yeah, thank you so much, and I will see you next time for my next movie reaction.